Right now, we're hiking through the woods in search of an abandoned insane asylum. That is improper grammar right there. Should be no trespassing. Thanks, Michael. A boat. Why is there a boat in here? The complex began its life as a Spanish fort and was later controlled by Confederate soldiers during the Civil War. Soon after that, it became a prison for captured Apache Indians. So there is in fact security at where we're heading to right now. Multiple cars and they patrol around. So we're gonna have to spend very little time outside of the buildings and most of the time just getting from building to building. Oh, how are we going to get through this? In the early 1900s, the facility became a segregated mental asylum for African Americans. During this time, the hospital was extremely overcrowded and patients were expected to do field work. It wasn't until 1969, after the passage of the Civil Rights Act, that the hospital was finally desegregated. It's a big boiler. All right, we're gonna move on to the next place now. So just Which way should we go? Do you wanna try that building right there? Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's try and go up there quick. Ready? Around every single corner is something beautiful. Okay, even if we look anywhere else, that drive was worth it for us. <laughs> Eight hour drive, totally worth it already. Oh, I like this right here. Look at the roof caving in. This shows this place has been decaying mostly natural and not from vandalism if the light bulbs are still intact. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is like walking on that would be something Dan Bell would try and do. <laughs> I'm not liking this. This will turn into a Dan Bell video if we start walking. How big is it? Yeah, let's know. It's mushy. Mushy as fuck. Turn down, turn down. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing stops this train. The buildings in the complex appear to date back to several different eras. This next one we're entering is one of the older ones, and is a mix of offices and patient living quarters.
Probably not a normal microwave, right? Oh, yeah. Are we going to open the fridge? <laughs> of course. Oh. Ooh, old water. Look, the fire extinguishers are unpulled. You never see that in an abandoned place. You found some files. Oh shit, it's They're dated 1990? Yeah, American White Cross. Copyright 1955. These are like logs for uh, meetings and stuff. I guess for psychological or brain damage, rehabilitation. Holy shit, the mattresses. This was like living quarters. Like they had a shit ton of patients. Everyone was in here. These curtains are so pretty. Walking through this building, we could feel the weight of hundreds of years of history pushing down on us. These walls have bared witness to some of the darker moments in American history, and it was apparent in all the cracks and peeling paint. Um, the floor above us collapsed. I don't think we'll be going. It's the floor above us. This is so unbelievably beautiful. It sounds like there's something right there. Does that not sound extremely close to you? Should we be concerned about that? Shit, look at the rubble. Uh, I don't know if we should walk on that. No? No. Holy fuck. This is sketchy, dude. Alright, do you know what explorer's floor? I don't know, I'm not liking it. It looks nice, but it's dangerous. Yeah, this floor is gonna be too dangerous. Let's go down to the first floor in this stairwell, because the other side didn't connect through. It's just, oh shit. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You're never coming back here, ever. Someone had some fun with air filters. You know we're never coming back. Air filters. Whoa. What is this? Is this showers? Yeah. There's no drain. It's not a shower. See, I think the fence was because it was a mental hospital and they had to keep people from committing suicide. Well, I mean, you're not going to commit suicide from that. From this height, true. I guess I just had to keep people in.
this floor is completely inundated with water. This is the floor we didn't want to walk on. Yeah. All right, let's go. It was time to head back outside to find the next building to explore. We'll have to be quick to minimize the risk of being spotted by a security patrol. It's raining a bit harder than it was before. Hopefully this lens is weather sealed. I don't see anyone in front of this building looks so cool. Here's what the front of the building we just explored looks like. I don't like this, we're really out in the open. Look at this view. Coming up in part two, we find another building to explore filled with antiquated medical equipment. We have to make a run from security. And we get a workout in. Stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it.